sorry if I keep burping. I just ate like some snacks right before shooting this video. So I am burping a lot. It was a good slice of pizza. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it is a special day, a very special day indeed. Every year I review this laptop and every year I fall in love with its latest version. But before we continue with the video, Asus would like you to know that their Cool for School promo is now up and running. If you're in the Philippines, make sure you get geared up and ready for the coming school year with great deals and bundles worth up to 40,000 pesos. Score amazing deals on laptops that'll make sure you get all you need done and more. From their entry-level friendly Chromebook and VivoBook series, to the OLED-powered ZenBook series, all the way up to the powerhouses from ROG, like the Zephyrus G15 and Duo 16, everything is on offer. And for the first time, the ROG Ally and the ROG Phone 8 are now part of the bundles that you can avail. The promo runs from June 1 to August 15, 2024. Make the most out of the Asus Cool for School promo by visiting the link in the description. That's it, let's get back to the video. This is the ROG Zephyrus G16, and it's a laptop that every year I review, and every year it's my most favorite laptop of that year. So yeah, I started reviewing this when they first released it, I think during the pandemic. It was released alongside the Gen 1 Z Zephyrus G14. I think that was 2020. Then every year they kind of like upgraded, 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 minor design adjustments. But now this is the first time that they've like redid the entire thing. And it moved up from being the G15 to the G16 because they're now rocking the 16 by 10 bigger displays, better displays. And it's just like a total upgrade. It's not like the incremental upgrade that we see every year. So I'm very excited to dig into this. I think this is kind of like a three box situation. Oh, this one is not a box. This is a, there we go. Let's start off with the case. So this is the included carry bag, carrying case for the ROG Zephyrus G16 2024. And it looks pretty amazing. Look at that. Oh. Very snazzy. I like it. It is following kind of like the design aesthetic of the ROG slash sling bag that I previously unboxed on the channel. I still use that bag very much. Uh, it's my small bag to go whenever I want to go out of the house and I don't want to carry a big bag. I don't need to carry like a laptop with me. I use that slash sling bag and it's good to see that it's carrying that ROG is carrying over the design aesthetic of that to this. Oh, nice velvety inside. Nice padding too. Okay, so before we head into the laptop, of course, this one is the laptop because it's flat and big. We're going to go with this box first and I'm going to show you the little note that comes with it. To Boss Kebs, the Zephyrus G16 is finally here. Enjoy, ROG fam, with a little heart. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, ROG fam. Uh, they include notes like this, and the most special note is always with the G15 or the G16 because they know it's my favorite. It's always my favorite of every year. Not the G14, it's always the G15 and the G16. So, yeah. I am assuming this is the power, uh, power brick. So, we have a power connector here. We have a little field here. What is this? Is this a USB? No, it's a proprietary connector and this has 240 watts of power. But it is small, it is probably a gallium nitride power brick. So even at 240 watts, it is kind of small. The laptop behind me, this one, this big one whose screen is turned off because it's connected to the big screen. Uh, this one is also running a 240 watt power, uh, power brick but it is twice this size. So it's good to see that it's small now. This is the USB-C charger. It also has a little peel here. Let's peel it off. Ta-da! Look at that. And it is a 100 watt USB-C charging brick. Pretty straightforward. I like it. These are very useful for me because as you may or may not know, uh, I am running my daily driver laptop is an ROG Zephyrus Duo 2022 model, and uh, I I find it impossible. 
I almost never do it. Like carrying around the 240 watt brick, I keep the USB-C PD 100 watt brick in my bag all of the time. I just charge it using that. And when I'm here at home, I have a little like pedestal for it. So it connects to my like yay big monitor and my yay small monitor here. That's the only time it gets plugged into the 240 watt power brick. It's just not for outside use. It's so big, it's so heavy. It's always ridiculous to carry it around. That's why I just use the 100 watt USB-C PD. Probably go going to carry around the 240 watt uh, with this one because it's smaller, gallium nitride. It comes with a mouse and it is a wired version of the Strix Impact mouse, which is hot garbage. So I will, <laughs> I will put it back in the box because I hate this mouse. I am very much a hater of this mouse. It has no side buttons, so I can't go back and forward in my web pages and my documents. So it's going back in the box. Main event time. Time to see the ROG G16. As we can see, it comes in a very classy box with a little like ROG Zephyrus branding here. If we open it up, it lifts up like this. Oh, that's a super tight fit. There we go. I have the Storm White version. <laughs> Let's go. How do I get this out of? ROG, put a tab on here. I can't like pull out the laptop. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, it's big. It's super big. You can see here and main camera. It's super big. <laughs> I love it. I love 16 inch laptops. Uh, I am running a 16 inch laptop as my daily driver. So I am allowed to say that. Underneath the laptop, we have uh, a little startup guide. Uh, I think this is the little like thing that goes on the keyboard when uh, you unbox it the first time. This is a media unit, so people have used this before me. Usually I am at the very last of the list. I am the last to take the G16 out for a drive because uh, I don't want people like lined up after me, which means I have to do my review or my videos or my content and my reviews in like two weeks. I don't like that. I want like months <laughs> with this. I'm probably gonna do like my content in a month, but after that, I get to keep it for a while <laughs> until ROG absolutely needs it back. So yeah, I like that setup because it gives me a lot more time to like develop content and get really like a, like a daily driver feel for the laptop. Anyway, more quick start guides and a little warranty card. So yeah. All of that is going back in the box. So yeah, this is the ROG Zephyrus G16. What a beautiful laptop. It looks like a Cyberpunk MacBook. This is kind of like the first time that the G14 and the G15 series got a design upgrade this big. So if you remember the G14 and the G15, kind of looked like this. So it was very cyberpunky, very gamery. During the time that it was released, it was a new like uh, design language for ROG, but it's been four years now and they kind of have to keep up with the times. And they also kind of got a better look at who's buying G14s and G15s because back then it was kind of like a shot in the dark. Like, do you want? a small 14 inch laptop that can game and do you want a slightly bigger 15 inch laptop that can game better but also like remain at the same price point so uh, when I talked to ROG uh, representatives, they said, oh, a lot of like young professionals and professionals were buying the G14s and the G15s and they were very happy with it. The main feedback that they got was, I wish that the G14 and the G15 wasn't so gamery because I'm taking these to like conferences and meetings and whatnot and I kind of like stand out. <laughs> I kind of like stand out in the conference room. So what they did was they kind of like sleeked out the entire thing. So this is what it looks like now. Very simplified design. No more anime LED matrix. Just this ROG slash bar. Lighting bar. It still has this kind of like small uh, badge here at the lower left. But it is now uh, 
I think kind of like acid etched. Uh, if we look at the underside, we get a lot of vents, but not very huge vents. They simplified it. It's just an array of vents. It looks like it's going to be effective for what it needs to do. All right, before we open up the laptop, we're going to have a little uh, tour. We're going to start with my favorite thing of this, my most favorite thing out of this laptop. It has a full-size SD card reader. Yeah, it's a UHS-2 reader. I love full-size SD cards because that's what my camera uses. And it's just like, if you're a creative, especially if you're a photographer or videographer, you can probably relate to this. I lose my card reader all of the time. People are going to borrow it and never return it. It's going to get lost in the bag. It's going to fall out of your pocket. Having a laptop that has a full-size SD card reader, if you're a videographer or a photographer, it's just, it's a non-negotiable. You need it. Thank you, ROG, for putting this in. Very good job. We have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A and a USB-C uh, 3.2 Gen 2. It also supports 100 watt uh, power delivery, so it's really good. But when we flip over to the other side, we have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, another USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A, which is really good. This laptop is super thin, but it has two USB 3.2 Gen 2 uh, Type-A's. And we have a Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 4, like actual Thunderbolt. Look at that. It has the little like lightning logo. We have an HDMI 2.1 out and we have the DC in, which is kind of like their new proprietary connector. I think it is reversible. It is reversible. So yeah, I will not reprimand ROG for using a proprietary connector for the power cable. Uh, I don't think this has space for a barrel connector. So I kind of understand that they went for something a little bit sleeker. It's not rotatable anymore, which is like the big strength of like barrel uh, style connectors, but it is reversible. Like you can like, it, like do it in like two ways and that's it. So yeah, that's still pretty good. I'll, I'll take it. As you can see, there are no ports in the back, but you can still see like a lot of the vents here at the underside. All right, it's time to open it up. This is like the magic moment for me always, because if you open it up, uh, it doesn't lay flat anymore. The G15 used to lay flat, but as you can see, glossy screen and the glossy screen here means it's an OLED screen. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry if I'm if I'm too excited about this, but yeah, Nebula display on the G16, a Nebula display OLED. It's an OLED screen now. It's 240 hertz, and, and it has a 0.2 millisecond response time. Finally, we get the Nebula display. This is something that I have been mentioning in my previous G15 reviews. This screen is good for an LCD, but you have to either make it mini LED or make it full OLED to make it worth the price. Because the G14, I can kind of understand that it's an LCD because you have to keep prices low on the G14. But the G15, it there's kind of like a little bit of in insinuation there that oh, I can pay for a I I can pay a bit more for a better laptop. But you're just getting like a bigger LCD. Why not give them a slightly bigger screen than mini LED or full OLED? And now that's what ROG is doing. The full OLED. It's so nice. Anyways, we're going to get to the screen later. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, we have a redesigned keyboard. It is pretty nice. Pretty nice to touch. Uh, no deck flex. No deck flex anywhere. Oh, the, the keys are also kind of like a bit bit closer to browns now instead of like reds it kind of like buckles down like a like a brown anyway it's not like the linear kind of like you have to bottom it out red kind of thing it does feel better it's pretty good uh big uh speaker grills here at the side so yeah we also see the glass uh trackpad like the very big glass trackpad all right since this is a no led, I'm going to I'm going to use the like, camera A. I want to know if it's going to blow out or not. It's probably going to blow out. 
Oh, it didn't blow up. Okay. <laughs> uh, as usual, I have already set this up, but I have not fully experienced it. I just set it up for making this video shoot a bit faster. Let's put it at max brightness first. Come on. Why is it taking so long? Did you update or something? Oh, there was a Windows update right before this. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that screen. Look at that beautiful, beautiful screen. Okay. So yeah, let's talk about the screen for a little bit. This is the ROG Nebula display. So it is OLED. It's honest to goodness OLED. 16 by 10 aspect ratio, 2560 by 1600 resolution. And uh, it's got, it's running at 240 hertz refresh rate. It's got 0.2 millisecond response time. It goes up to 500 nits. 500 nits might not sound like a lot, but when you're talking about an OLED screen, 500 nits is a lot because OLEDs can do basically infinite contrast. They can turn off their black pixels. It's not like LCDs that, oh, 500 nits is pretty low because there's always kind of like a backlight running even in the black parts. But on OLED, it can just shut off that pixel because it's a per pixel, it's lit per pixel. <sighs> a lot of explanation. All right, so this is just an unboxing. I'm not reviewing this yet. So we're, go we're going to run it through our first tests of every laptop. And the very first thing I do is specs check. This is the ROG Zephyrus G16 GU605MZ. It is running the Intel Core Ultra 9 185H, which has 14 CPUs, running at 2.5 gigahertz, but I think this turbos all the way up to 4.8 or 5 gigahertz. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna, going to put it here. I'm not entirely like... Uh, I'm not entirely uh, familiar yet with the Core Ultra series because apart from like a previous laptop from MSI which was running a Core Ultra 7, this is only the second time I'm going to be reviewing a Intel, an Intel Core Ultra laptop. It has 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM and for display, it is running the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 laptop GPU. <laughs> <laughs> what a baller, what a what a baller setup. My god, what a crazy, crazy laptop. Second thing we have to test out is the camera. This camera is a 1080p camera and it has an IR sensor, which means you can use Windows Hello on it. So Windows Hello is facial recognition. Uh, I think I can kind of see what you're doing with your laptop's ROG. If it doesn't, if it has a fingerprint scanner, you don't put the Windows Hello camera on it. But if it ha but if it doesn't have a fingerprint scanner, you put the Windows Hello camera on it. So okay, I guess you're you're just making us like choose which one we want. Uh, but yeah, doesn't it doesn't have a fingerprint scanner? It has a Windows Hello camera. So yeah, it, it looks pretty good. Image quality is pretty nice. I mean wild okay it is pretty wild it is not blowing out as much because uh here i can kind of understand that this is pure white because the, these are like led panels pointed at the side of my uh, at the back of my head uh and there is a like a blue overcast here at the side of my head because of like this little like uh led lightsaber here but yeah Resolution is pretty great. The mic sounds like this, so hopefully it resolves the mic pretty well. I'm not sure how it sounds. I'm only going to hear it in post. All right, next test we're going to do is speaker test. I have to preface this with something because uh, I have been talking with the ROG representatives and they know how picky I am with laptop speakers. I am a recovered audiophile. I don't do it anymore. <laughs> and they kept saying, oh, you're going to love the speakers on the, the G16. So, okay, I'm going to trust you guys. So uh, the speaker test on my previous laptop reviews used to be recorded by a condenser mic, uh, which was kind of like put like right in front of the laptop. And people have pointed out that that's not the correct way because you have to set the mic at the location where your ears will probably be. 
So I upgraded my mic. This is now a Shure SM57. And when we're going to be testing it, I'm going to put I'm going to put it like right here. Like right at my ear level. Just so you guys can kind of like see or kind of hear what I'm hearing. Of course, it's not going to be stereo because this is not a stereo mic and I can't afford a stereo mic, but this will have to do. This is at 60%. The laptop is at 60% here. <laughs> what the hell? How is it doing that? Okay, I am kind of blown away <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm kind of blown away right now. Uh, the ROG representative that I was talking to said that uh, the ROG G16 now comes with six speakers. It used to come with four. Two of those speakers were kind of like surround speakers and I kind of hear it. Sounds like... Uh, the sound is coming from like beyond the laptop it feels like there are speakers here and the bass is really strong it is really good <laughs> good job i am blown away rog good job these are really good speakers you win this time <laughs> so the last thing like with any laptop unboxing that we do we're going to put it through a gaming test and uh, I know you guys are kind of like sick of me playing Battlefield, which is a dead game. It's still my favorite shooter. I'm not trash talking it or anything. I still play it weekly, but uh, I have been getting comments like, oh, play another game. Battlefield is boring. All right, all right. I'm going to play Forza Horizon 5. <laughs> I'm going to play Forza Horizon 5, okay? You guys win. So we are currently running at, let's turn on HDR. Uh, we are currently running at 2560 by 1440 at 240 FPS. Let's put that to unlocked. And we have DLSS on at balanced and sharpness set to one. Reflex low latency on plus boost. And we have frame generation on. Okay. Show FPS on. Save. There we go. For graphics, we are running at maximum settings. You can't go any higher than this. So yeah, maximum settings. Forza. Let's go. And on free roam. Uh, actually, we are running at the wrong resolution. Let's go 2560 by 1600. Let's go. I thought I noticed something wrong. And oh my god, look at that. All max settings 2560 by 1600. We're running at 120 FPS. This is pretty crazy. <laughs> the screen, the screen is crazy. Holy, holy moly. What a very beautiful screen. All right, let's get into a race. One thing I would like to change is HDR calibration on this or the screen calibration because it's kind of like the saturation is kind of like dead. Does this, this Forza have brightness setting? Oh, I can pump up the saturation. Okay. Oh, that's better. Okay, I just pumped up the saturation in game. This is one of my most favorite Ferraris, the 512TR Testarossa. And Testarossa. And it's just so beautiful. It's just a beautiful car. And seeing it here on this OLED screen just oh, does it justice. Alright, time to race. Look at that. Even with other cars on the screen, 130 FPS. 
look at that. I have to turn off the radio. Sorry, I was looking at the radio. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at the radio. That's how accidents happen <laughs> when the driver is when the driver is uh, distracted. Anyway, it's time. <laughs> Time to take this racing shit seriously. Oh, the Testarossa is a bit, it's a bit slidey. It's not very grippy, is it? I haven't upgraded this car, and this is bone stock. So, yeah. Take me to the highway so I can let this thing go. Uh, as you would notice, in my previous uh, laptop tests, I was playing FPS games and I was bad at FPS and now you guys are going to see how bad I am at <laughs> racing games. I don't know why I keep playing them. I I love racing games. Actually, it's my much more preferred genre of video game. Uh, mostly rally racing. Uh, oh, sorry about that. It's my much more preferred like genre. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, it's my much more preferred genre of video games. I play a lot of uh, rally racing games, uh, like Dirt. So a lot of hours logged on Dirt Five. Come on, come on. Second. Can't snag first. Second. Came in second. <laughs> Finished second. Nice guys, finish second. <laughs> oh, what an experience. This OLED screen. Uh, mini LED, mini LED screens. They're good, but OLED is just like prime stuff. Super prime. This is prime tune. Anyways, that is the ROG. Zephyrus G16. If you have any questions about it, please leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. While you're there, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, share this with your friends. It'll help out a lot. I'm super excited to test this out. Uh, the G16, like I keep saying, has always been my favorite. And now that it's got an OLED screen, it's now got an RTX 4080 in it. I am going to enjoy the hell out of this. Thank you very much for sending this in, ROG. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.